Hi, my name is Kelly Goad. I'm the clinical manager at Emerge Pediatric Therapy in Durham. I'm also a speech language pathologist and I wanted to talk a little bit today about the five things that I look for when picking out a children's book. The first thing I am looking for is a book that tells a story that has a clear beginning, middle, and end. I love to talk through that as we're reading the book, as well as it's a good opportunity to retell the story afterward. What happened in the beginning? What happened in the middle? What was the end or the resolution of the story? Some um, examples of that are the classic Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and then my well-loved copy of Goodnight Gorilla. It's a bit of a simpler story, but nonetheless has a clear beginning, middle, and end. The second thing I'm looking for when picking out a children's book is a book that is open to interpretation, um, leaves some opportunities for questions and comments. Some examples of that are Amelia Bedelia. She um, misunderstands what people say frequently. So for example, when uh, Mrs. Rogers asks her to draw the drapes, she draws a picture of the curtains rather than actually um, closing them. The Gruffalo is another example of it. You have to think through what the characters are thinking in their mind and what the other characters are interpreting based on that. The third thing that I look for when picking out a children's book is oftentimes a book that is repetitive or has some sort of a pattern or a sound that goes along with it. The Gruffalo is another great example of that. The same um, phrasing is used on almost every page within the book. We're Going on a Bear Hunt is another nice one that really um, encourages the movement and sound play as you're reading it. The fourth thing that I look for when picking out a children's book is a book that is diverse or a book collection, I should say, that is diverse. I want to have a collection that represents multiple genders, multiple ethnicities, multiple ability levels. It's really powerful for kids to see themselves represented in books. So here are some examples from my collection of books that I love to use with, um, with my clients. The fifth thing that I like to look for when picking out a children's book is a book with limited text. So sometimes a book um, that has a lot of words in it is overwhelming to a client, particularly a child with a language um, delay. Books that are truly wordless are great for this. Here's an example of one that has no words at all in it and yet still has a story that we can look at and even talk through if we're ready for that. Uh, this is another one, very limited text, but basically a wordless book. The most important thing that is not on my list of five, that, but that should go without saying, is a book that grabs the child's interest. No matter the topic, no matter the situation, if the child is interested in it, I'm game. Here's a silly example of that. I got this at a used bookstore, um, and it doesn't have much of a story. It's truly just a picture of dogs dressed up in... Um, in outfits that represent different jobs, but it really is engaging for a lot of my clients, particularly those dog lovers or just kids who love silly things. I hope this helps. If you want more information about what we do at Emerge, you can go to our website. It's emergepediatrictherapy.com.